Hello guys and welcome to my channel Alphonse IT. This video was is mainly focused for the people with using the hard disk as their primary storage. In computer or laptop in which the hard disk is installed as their primary storage, uh, then the lag or hang will occur in the laptop or PC. If the C drive is completely used, uh, this may also occur in the SSD, but uh, it doesn't lag that much in like uh, that of SGD in SSD. So I am also using the laptop with hard disk. So let me uh, show you the way to uh, extend the C drive in our laptop by which you can mm, stop lagging in your computer. Now let's move on to the steps uh, without any further delay. So first of all to increase uh, your storage in C drive you have to remove uh, some of the storage from your other drives or you have to shrink the drives part. I have already shrink my one of the drive to make the, the storage into an unallocated memory. So let me show you again the process. I will only be converting somewhat about 10 MB or 100 MB in this video because I have already shrink the volume that I needed in our in my C drive. So you can see that I have already finished the process of shrinking in my window. So after shrinking, then you can see that there is an option of expand drive in other drives like D and E, but there is not uh, the option of expand drive in C drive. Let me show it in C drive. You can see that uh, in C drive there is not a function of expanding the drive or expanding volume. So for that you have to download a apps mini tool partition wizard. So let me search it in my browser. So let me search it. This app doesn't uh, use many storage. Uh, the apps is one, the exe file is only something about three to five MB. So you can just download it very easily. Let me download it. I haven't downloaded it beforehand. I think the download download is finished. Let me open my download tab and run the exe file. You have to stay focused and uh, see clearly what I am going to choose in the option while installing the. There are multiple options in this app while installing. So let me first of all choose my language to English, and you have to select. Uh, you can just uh, try on the free version because we can do our work in the free version, so we don't need pro version now so let's go to the next and you can see that there are two options you just have to untick the second options as well as the last option if you want to untick the last option you can but if you don't want to then you just can't skip this but you have to untick the second option because second option will only download extra pack in your c drive so let me fast forward the process of installing now our tool is ready and it's opening it takes quite a lot of time while opening for a first time so you have to wait until the this processing it doesn't take too long time it only takes something about 15 to 30 seconds now our tool is ready so let me skip this let me close this pop-up window that um, actually opens whenever you opens the, this tool for the first time now the thing that we are going to do is place that unallocated space into the c drive or merge that into c drive so first of all you have to select the extend function and you can select any of the unallocated memory that you have formed um, before so let me choose both of the unallocated memory you can choose uh, your size that you want to take from the unallocated memory from this bar i will be going to use all of the unallocated memory in this process so i will be pressing ok and then I will also add another unallocated memory that I have created just for the uh, tutorial process in this video that is of the 100 MB I think so let me also use its full volume and there is also another of the unallocated memory that I have created uh, some time ago that I don't remember when I have created that uh, now let me choose all of the memories in their full size amount and you have to click on apply button bottom side for this process to be completed uh, it actually takes too long of time to process this so i have to fast forward this uh, but there will be an error occurring in this program in this process because i am actually using the c drive now because this apps is currently installed in my c drive so actually my c drive is in use so i think some of the memory will be added in my C drive and the process will be stopped. So let me fast forward this process to see what will happen. 
so this was the problem or error that i was telling you that will occur in my video actually there is uh, quite easy way to solve this prob problem there are actually three ways the last option in which i think the best option will be the last option that is cancel the process because even if you cancel the process now almost about 99 percent of your allocated unallocated memory will be added to the c drive so and there is there are two other options also so first of all let me go to my um, um file manager and show you what is happening in my file manager it is is it actually been added to my c drive or not and i will show, tell you about two other process after i will show you the file manager to open file manager let me cancel the process uh, after i have cancelled the process i think the memory should be added you can see that in the c drive and the storage has been increased to 200 mb 200 gb you can see in the very beginning of my video there is was only 96 to 97 gb of the storage in my c drive as total storage but now it has already become uh, 200 gb so it will be pretty much sufficient for you if you just want to do some of the normal process uh, and as well as many other complicated process now now let me show you the two options that i was telling earlier so in this two of two options that i was telling there is the option that is retry in which you have to close all the programs all the program files that is running in c program and just retry that is impossible because actually the tool is running in my c drive but it can be managed if you run or if you move this folder to the any of the any other drive or you can just install the apps again in any of the other drive or uh, another option is uh, you can add the unallocated memory to any of other drives because other drives doesn't forbid you from using that unallocated memory into them or merging them into them in the process that is running in the screen i am using that 100 mb of unallocated memory into e drive uh, because i saved many of the downloaded folder in e drive so i think e drive is also somewhat essential for me the thing that you have to remember is you have to use that unallocated memory in any of your drives if you just left it like that it will become your something about garbage in your memory so let me so in the third option the third option is actually to restart your computer in the error message in the apps there was an option to use that uh, restart button or restart option you can just press the restart button if you want to restart your computer and then finish your work or finish extending your c drive currently i can't do that because i am recording this video by using the obs studio and obs studio is running my laptop so if i just restart my laptop the obs studio will be closed so this will be much for today and thank you everyone for watching my video please hit that like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to receive the notification about this many other cool tricks in the future thank you for watching